Hello everybody, this is Stringham back to kick off round 7 for Group B. We're finally going to conclude my group. And well, what a fight card we got for you in this session, so check it out. So yeah, you can see our main event of this session. It is the host, Stranger Game, of going up against Vrog. Victory for the hosts take them, takes them through to the last 32 round. Well, they might already be in the last 32 round if other results go their way. So before that match, we got Mulberry taking on Storm. Then we have Khalid versus Carnotaurus Man, which is essentially a knockout match. But up first, it is Echo Fury going up against Maastricia. Okie dokie, in the right corner for Echo Fury, we got Alpha Allosaurus. Um, we don't have lightning types in this matchup, I don't think. So no terrain advantages here. But it is a tough spot to be in here for Echo Fury, needing a win and going up against the number one team in the tournament. Right, in the blue corner for Maastrician, we have got Omega Eocarcaria. Well, Maastrician's already won this group. They can sit back and relax. And they just enjoy the match and hope they can get another win. This might be a good time to play them though if you're Echo Fury, because as I said, They've done their job. They've done their bit. You know, will they be as ruthless in this match? It's a first hit. Ooh, that's a crit. This is a really good start from Echo Fury. Getting a ninja attack going. A win for Echo Fury, I believe, will put him second in the table and would all but secure last 32 position. Okay, that's a tie. Maastrician yet to get a hit in this match. That poison's doing some real damage. Ooh, but Maastrician gets a crit. That crit's going to remove the poison as well. It's going to heal up the eel card. The Tappy Jara dive is going to add some extra damage. Good strike from Master Ship. And now Tag Team has been triggered. So the next hit that Echo Fury gets will not... Well, here it comes. There's the Tag Team. Going to stop that ninja attack from doing damage. Tag team's been very beneficial for Maastrician in this tournament. It keeps the Eocarc area breathing for a couple more minutes anyway. Well, I say minutes, it'll probably be seconds. Okay, that's a tie. Oh, that ninja attack's gonna do it. And Parasaurus won't be there to save the day this time. Oh no, slice. So Echo Fury going in front, but you feel Maastrician is starting is warming up a bit. Right, coming in next from Maastrician, we got the Blitz type Spinosaurus, so you know the deal. It'll go for them two rock crits. And while two crits from this thing can swing this match 180, so Echo Fury has to be careful here. But it has been a good start. Right, first things first, it's the crit. Oh, doesn't get it! That's a big Mayfly! Echo Fury extending their lead. Right, crit number two. Oh, got that one though! That's gonna be curtains for Allosaurus, but, well, it's done his work, it's done a lot of good work. And it has given Echo Fury this crucial lead. Oh wow, I was quick. <laughs> There's a bit of tech boost there. Hmm. Coming in next for Echo Fury, we've got Super Despletosaurus and Waker Mode on 3. Now, even though it's got tight disadvantage, his crit is not a fire move. So that definitely does help out. But if they do go for it, they do leave themselves vulnerable to a power drain. So let's see what happens. Oh, it's another one! 
Well, as I said, just like that, two crepes. And Maastrician will be in the lead. Another tech boost off that, maxed up. And an Aqua Javelin as well. Big shot from Maastrician. Oh, wow, that was a big shot. Hit tight. That's another tight. Oh, that Petersaurus is going down. Just like that, a lead can dissipate. Right, coming in third for Echo Fury, we got Spinotector. Now, in Echo Fury's first match, they did come from behind to win with this thing. So they'll have to do it again to stay alive in this tournament. The tie. It's another tie. Got quite a few ties in this match. Oh, that's a crept. Is that lethal? Nope. But that tie will do it. Oh no, oh, bloody hell, it won't. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, that's another hit. Will we see another Aqua Javelin? Okay, we don't. But what's interesting, the Dino Tector is filling up. Oh, that's another hit. Okay, no Aqua Javelin. Aqua Javelin would have been lethal. That's going to be lethal. Well, somehow, Maastrisha gets a bonus point win. And Echo Fury is going out of the group stage. Wow, that's unfortunate because they had a really good start. But as I said, just like that, the match can turn. Right, on to our next matchup. Alrighty then, in the red corner, for Khalid, we have got Shantungasaurus. Well, victory for Khalid takes them into the top four. And knocks out Carnotaurus Man. This is essentially a knockout match. Whoever loses is out. In fact, even if Carnotaurus Man wins, they'll go out. Because they do need a bonus point. Right, in the blue corner, representing Carnotaurus Man, we've got Super Discreet Saurus, Awaken Mode on 3. Well, yeah, they need a bonus point win to have any chance of getting out of the group. And then they'll have to hope that Mulberry and Stranger Gamer both lose without collecting any losing bonus points. Well, me not getting losing bonus points. So it is still possible that, again, they're in the scenario where they need other results to go their way. Oh, but that's not a good start. That's an atomic bomb. But what a start if you could lead. That gets the defense boost combo going as well. Oh, jeez, that was a lot of damage. Okay, that's one. Ooh, that's a tie. That's another tie. I don't... Oh, that's Petersaurus. Is it going to survive to the Awaken mode? Well, it doesn't look like it, and it won't. This is a very good start for Khalid, but this is disaster for Carnotaurus Man. Right, well, coming in next for Carnotaurus Man, we got Paki Rhinosaurus. It's gonna have to do a sweep. Otherwise, they're going out. And yeah, they needed to get an awakened hit on Khalid at some stage, and they failed. So that is also a big problem. Atomic bomb! And Carnotaurus man, this is really not happening for him. Defense boost is activated as well, so this thing is maxed up defensively. This could turn ugly. Alright, there's a hit that lasts, but again, 
that shank is so resilient that this is hardly going to do any damage. Recovery is going to help. Okay, that did more damage than I thought it would. I'll give him credit for that. But he needs more. Another hit. That's probably his weakest hit, and yeah, you can see that. Look at that. Can't even call that a hit, to be honest. Oh, the shank gets another hit on the board. Oh, there's another hit. Well, this is good if you're Khalid, because a bonus point win would be huge for them. Oh, they two. Yeah, that's it. Garnetor's man's gone. He is done in this tournament. Yeah, the, he's done. Nothing he can do now. Even if he comes back and wins this match, he still won't have enough to get out of the group. Right, coming in food for Carnotaurus Man. We've got Ace Dino Tech now. We won't count him out yet. Dino Tech that can swing this match 180 easily. Especially in a situation like this. All he needs to do is start getting hits. See what happens. It's a tie. Sonic Blast would have come in handy. It just can't get a hit. They got that one lightning strike and a scissors hit and that's it. Alright, there we go. Finally the shank goes down. Well, a bonus point win would mean that I would have to beat Varga and Mulberry would have to win with a bonus point against Storm. That's the significance of the bonus point win here for Khalid. Right, coming in next for Khalid, we got Tajongasaurus. They ain't got the bonus point win yet. Still a long way to go. Anything can happen. And well, from my personal perspective, I'm hoping that Karnotaurus Man can come back here and at least deny him the bonus point win. Okay, that's a tie. He's got Sonic Blast. So I'm just hoping that he at least takes out this Tajongasaurus. Because if I get a losing bonus point against Varga, I'll still go I'll go above Khalid on the head-to-head. Gonna make him more vulnerable to the crit. Like that! That's a big hit from Carnotaurus Man. Oh, he freaking killed it! Wow, that's the power of Sonic Blast for you folks. Well, all of a sudden, things looking uncomfortable for Khalid. Coming in third, we've got Amargosaurus. As I said, Dino Tactors, man, they can swing this match 180. And Ace certainly has done that. Momentum right with Carnotaurus, man. It's just a shame from their perspective that it wasn't with them at the start when they really needed it. Okay, there's a hit from Khalid. And how costly could that be for Khalid? Not getting a bonus point win. Okay, that's another hit. A shockwave here ends this match. Okay, six. Ooh, that's another crit. That's another bite in wind. And I think the Dino Tech is full as well. Could this all go wrong for Khalid? Oh, okay. Here we go, Dino Tech the time. Dino Tech that on. Well, it's all on this. If Car if Carnotaurus Man gets a hit here, he takes himself out and Khalid. Oh, it's a tie. The Sonic Blast is gone. Khalid on the brink of the massive win they need. Oh, it's a Dino Stector. That's it for Khalid. They are out of the tournament. And Carnotaurus Man, they may be going out, but they're taking Khalid with them. And that was a big opportunity for Khalid Mist. And they are going out at the group stage. Wow, that is a double elimination. And if you're Mulberry, if you're Stranger Gamer, 
You absolutely love it. Right, on to our third match. Okie dokie, in the red corner. For Mulberry, we have got Parpasaurus. Victory for Mulberry in this match takes them through to the last 32 rounds, regardless of the main event result. Because they do have the head to head over me, so even if I got a losing bonus point in that match, it wouldn't be enough. I'd have to win, basically. <laughs> Anyway, in the blue corner for Storm, we've got Super Rajasaurus, Awaken Mode on 3. Well, all Storm needs is a losing bonus point and they're through. Having a very good debut tournament so far. They really have stepped up in the last couple of matches. Which has got them in the position they're in now. Uh, this is a... This is for grass types, which favours nobody. Oh, that's a good start for Mulberry. That's a crit right off the bat. Okay, it's once. Oh, it's another crit. This is a very good start from Mulberry so far. But remember, the Rajasaurus, it does have the death fight, so that is something to be wary of. And it does have the Awakened mode, which is going to activate here. And death fire did not get triggered. But this is a very good start from Mulberry. And he don't get the hit. Wow, if this is a good start. All the hits belong to Mulberry. Right, coming in next for Storm, we've got Super Carnotaurus, Awaken Mode on Freak. Again, another he heavy hitting dinosaur for Storm, but this has not been a good start so far. Hmm, are they get are they a bit too complacent here? Because remember, if they lose here, and Stranger Gamer wins in the main event, Storm will go home. Okay, there's a tie. Finally, Storm lands some damage. There's another tie. Ties do favour the Papasaurus, though. It is willpower type. And that's another hit! Wow, this is going really well for Mulberry. Right, that's one. Okay, finally Storm gets a hit in this match. Not much of a hit, but it's a hit. Ooh, that could have been a big crit. That would have gave Storm, gave Storm a chance at an awakened hit on Mulberry's next dinosaur. But instead... Gonna have to waste it on this Papasaurus after even if he gets this hit. And he does. He needed this. Oh, and it still didn't take it out. Okay, but this tile do it. Okay, yeah, Storm will get the next hit anyway because. Yeah, Storm will get the next hit because the Papasaurus should have died. Right, coming in third for Storm, we got Maximus, so we dare not count Storm out yet. We all know what a Dino Tector can do. Well, a Spectral Armor can do. So Storm is not out of this by a long shot. Right, so yeah, I do have to give Mulbe the Storm the hit here, because the Papasaurus should have died. But, well, it's done his work already, and Mulberry still has a big lead in this match. Right, coming in next for Mulberry, we've got Alpha Chasmosaurus. This is very reminiscent to their match against me, where the Papasaurus done a lot of work, and they won that match. But, I did come back into it, and they didn't get a bonus point win, so that is something they do have to be wary of, and I didn't have a Dino Tech. I didn't have an armored dinosaur in that match. If I did, that could have been a different outcome. Ty. Ooh, Storm starting to get hits in this match. An electric charge as well. That's another tie. In quite a few of those, but the spectral armor is filling up, which is a big concern 
for, for Mulberry. But Storm getting another hit on the board. Actually, I know what I'll do. I won't activate the Spectral Armor here because he got the free hit that he shouldn't have got, which filled up the bar. And it won't reset the bar, it'll just go back down. And then the next time he gets a hit, I'll give him the Spectral Armor. So I think that's what I'll do. I think that's fair, because you can see the bar goes down, and then the next hit he gets, he'll go up, and then I'll activate the Spectral Armor. I think that's a fair thing to do. And well, he gets the Spectral Armor anyway, and now I will enter the code. See, if I had rejected it again, the bar does actually reset after, after you refuse to activate the Spectral Armor a couple of times. So that is something you should all be aware of, but... Again, I don't mind not giving it to him straight away because he shouldn't have had it that early because he got the free hit. Because the Papasaurus survived the tie when it should have died. So I hope you can wrap your heads around that. <laughs> I didn't explain it very well, but anyway. Back to the present. And coming in food for Mulberry is Carnotaurus. Now, the worry is that Storm got his Spectral Arm. A Spectral Punisher could end this match. I'm pretty confident in saying that the Carnotaurus will survive a Spectral Punisher if it does get hit, but it will have really low health. So we're at a really interesting point of the match. Oh, that's a crit! That's a loot. Well, losing bonus point and enough for Mulberry. They have to win this match. Can they do it? Oh, it's a Spectral Punisher! Now, again, I think the Carnotaurus will survive. I do think that. But this is a massive hit from Storm. And what this does do is guarantee that Storm will go through regardless of the match's outcome. Yeah, I thought they would, but look at that. Oh, it's gone wrong for Mulberry! It's all gone wrong for Mulberry and Storm! Blows him away with the Spectral Punisher and books his place in the last 32 round and in doing so ensures that our host Stranger Gamer also goes through. Oh, that's kind of a letdown now because this main event is no stakes because I'm already through and Varga's already through. And Storm is going to finish second in this group. we got to do the main event anyway so let's just get on with it. Right then, in the red corner, for the host, Stranger Gamer, we got Sinteosaurus, and well, I can safely relax now because I'm already through. <laughs> oh, that was a... Uh, kind of a letdown, to be honest. I really wanted stakes in this match, but the only stakes for me is who my opponent could be. Now, I will say, whoever finishes fourth in this group will face the winner of Group D, which, as it stands, is Ultimate Dino Kick. So, th okay, there is a bit of motivation for me. <laughs> and this is a good field for Varga because they do have terrain advantage with the Armadus. Right, anyway, in the blue corner for Varga, we got Torvasaurus. I have to say, been really impressed with Varga in this tournament. A very, very solid team. I could see them making a deep run in this tournament. I really could. Very impressive. And I think, in the context of the group, they probably do deserve to finish second. And that is where they will finish if they win this match. And that is a good start getting the heat corruption off. Well, the big threat for me is Armatus in third against my Rhinoceratops. That's obviously the big threat. Because the Rhinoceratops, it hasn't really performed. Okay, it's another tie. No heat eruption this time, but a good start from Varga. Ah, that's what I need. I mean, I still want to win this match. <laughs> but uh, if I don't win, then I won't be too bothered. But I've got to take winning form into that knockout round. One win in four. It's not good enough. <laughs> okay, that's another tie. No heat eruption this again. It's a third tie. I'm really threatening asking for him to hit, hit me with heat eruption. Okay, nope, you'll get a hit anyway. The tech boost will activate. Um, I think with a defensive resilience Sinteosaurus has, it will survive, but I'm not sure it'll survive a Volt Burst. And he does get the Volcano Burst off. 
Let's have a look. Oh, damn it. It, it went down. <laughs> oh, well. Um, coming in next for our host, we got the Mega Raptor. Uh, problem here is that I've got tight disadvantage against that Torv, so that's going to be a problem. But, if I can get a crit, I can still kill it. And if I can get a rock hit, I can get rid of his crit and then get a crit anyway. With a crit block. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Because the last, well, if I want any chance of winning this match, I can't let him go 2 0 up. He's going to freaking go 2 0 up, isn't he? <laughs> Well, the tech boost is going to be maxed up. He'll probably get a volcano burst off. Oh, okay. No, he doesn't. Stop going scissors. Oh, here comes a heat eruption. Oh, it's like fighting Gomer all over again. And it's 50 million technique yoga area. I will say that Rhinoceratops does have the type advantage over the Joboria. But yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna get I gotta get 3-0 here, ain't I? Okay, no eat eruption that thing. Come on, give me a hit. Well, it is 2-0 to Varga. <laughs> this is really not going well. I think got one hit in the entire match. This is the Mulberry match over again. Right, coming in third, we got Orinoceratops. And let's note, he's got terrain advantage as well in this match. Come on, Orinoceratops, this is your time to shine. You can do this, buddy. I will say, if I do get to Armatus with this thing, it'll be a friggin' miracle for a start. It will be maxed up in attack power, so... There is that. Oh, for goodness. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna be too sore. He's gonna win 3 0, isn't he? Look, it doesn't matter if you win 3 0, you're still not topping the group. Oh, for goodness. Well, they, well, he's got the win, because Armatus comes in with terrain advantage and I can't heal, so he's gonna win, so he's won. But he finally hit. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, come on. Can you at least take out the Jovoria? Oh, it's another hit. A bit late, though. I mean, this is kind of pointless, to be honest, because... We all know that Varga's already won because he's got terrain advantage. Oh, hang on, hang on, no. Th um, there's this rule where if... The terrain hit kills your third dino, it's reversed, and the other guy gets a crit instead. <laughs> no, I'm, no, no. Right, coming in next for Varga, we got Joboria. Okay, it's a tie. Card. Let me take out Jobori at least. Nope, nope, not a chance on this planet. Alright, yeah. <laughs> that didn't go well. But it doesn't matter because I'm already through. Varga will finish second. And I will probably have to play up my Dino King in the knockout rounds. Where hey. Right, let's have a look at the table in the session. Right, well, that's how Group B finishes, ladies and gentlemen. So, Maastrician. Obviously, we all know he won the group already. 22 points. Varga finishing second place on 17 points. A very impressive debut. Then Storm, really storming back into the group stage, finishing third on 14 points. And then, by the skin of it, their chinny chin chin, we have our host, Stranger Gamer, finishing fourth, clinging on with 10 points. Which, at the minute, well, actually, that will be the lowest amount going that any team in the knockout rounds will have accumulated in the group stage which is crazy and I'm only there because of the head-to-head -head I have against Echo Fury and Carnotaurus Man so these two do go out because they because I have the head-to-head -head over the pair of them so I win the matches that matter that's what they say so yeah unfortunately for these two they 
do bow out at the group stage, which is unfortunate, but you know, it's fine margins. And then Khalid and Mulberry finishing on nine points. Like, this bottom five was so tight, but right, let's have a look where everyone is in the uh, knockout round. So, yeah, you can see Maastrichtian up here will take on whoever finishes runner up in Group F. So, well, fourth in Group F, so there's motivation for you, Group F peeps. Then we'll have Varga on definitely on the favourable side of the draw, taking on whoever finishes third in Group G, which as it stands, I believe, is Lad. But it could be Drogan or it could be, you know, anyone else. Tanker. Then we have Storm down here, going to take on whoever finishes second in Group E, which at the minute, it looks like it will most likely be Marn. But it could be Experts, Arctic Warriors, could be any anyone in that group. And then you've got me at the top, <laughs> going to take on whoever wins Group D, which could be Ultima Dino King. Or it could be M Steel, Dino Fans, Morslet, it could be anybody in that group, frankly. I will say, though, even though I finished fourth, I, I am I do feel like I'm on the more much more favorable side of the draw. Yes, that was it. It was tactical. I, I threw that match on against Varga on purpose, so I'd end up on the weaker side. So I don't have to play these buggers. <laughs> All I need to do is beat the winner of group D, and I got a good run to the final. Yes! It's my tournament. Somehow. Like I said, group stage is one tournament, knockout matches are another. And I've been there and done it, so I know how to win. Right, that's enough pumping my ego. That's going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, ta-ta. Mm -hmm.